This is the backyard of our Airbnb. Rick's taking pictures of the beautiful flowers that are over there. The beach is just that direction. I think we'll go and watch the sunset. Cookie needed a little exercise. Ready to go in, Cookie? Let's go. Good boy. Nice patio, too. Look how nice and large. So it was like the one I had almost. It's really nice. Nice to sit out here in the evenings, screened in and everything. So we really love this particular home where we're staying. You could search the city and state that you want to visit and check out what's available. You could rent a whole house or you could rent a room. You could rent with Wi-Fi. You could rent where they accept pets. You can rent where there's pools. There's so many options on Airbnb. You could even choose houses that only have those lock boxes like this house where you don't even need to meet anybody. Because many of the Airbnbs you have to um, meet up with the owner of the house which is fine with me but sometimes people are tired and just don't want to wait around for somebody and same with the host i don't blame them they don't want to wait around for somebody who might be late so you could just check in with the lockbox like the realtors use when selling the house i'm sitting here on our front patio and i wanted to talk a little bit about our stuff that we put in the storage unit down the street from the house we sold we were putting our stuff in there, what we wanted to keep, while we were selling the house. The storage units down the street were climate controlled and super clean, newer, super nice. So we had some clothes that were for colder climates. So when we were traveling, that I'm not freezing in my shorts and t-shirts. So we brought them from a storage unit to this home so we could figure out what fits in our backpacks. And it stunk. I never thought that it would because when you go to the storage unit, it smells fine. It's very clean. It's like a five-star storage unit. Very new, clean. And I'm wondering why in the heck does it stink? All these storage units are separated by walls, but the ceiling part just has this wire, so it's kind of connected to other people's smells. <laughs> I think some people might have stuff that might smell because maybe they had it in their garage that was not climate controlled at some time. So my stuff got the smell of other people's stuff and it's kind of yucky. I've got like a super sensitive nose. I can smell everything. So I have to rewash everything even though I washed it before we left the house. It's been a project to, not that we have that much, but I still have to rewash everything. So that's something I learned with leaving stuff in storage units. Now we have some things, as you know, that are in the storage container, isolated container, and I'm hoping to God our beds don't end up smelling because I don't know when I'll see that storage container again in a year, two, who knows. But when I get it back, I hope it doesn't have weird smells. It's also climate controlled in a very clean, nice area, so I don't know, we'll see. But it's one of those smells that had to be washed out. I tried just drying it, steam dry, and it didn't do the trick. So I had to like wash it from the beginning. It got stinky. I had no idea. Lesson learned. <laughs> Don't leave your stuff in a storage unit, even if it's climate controlled. Uh, Cheryl Yaks, one of our subscribers and a great YouTube channel. Please subscribe to her. She asked me about what am I doing about my clothes literally what am I going to do? Well, thankfully, I never had a lot of clothes to start with since I moved to Florida. When I left Ohio, I left jackets behind, boots, coats, socks, long johns, because down here I live in my shorts and t-shirts. And Cheryl, you know you live in your bathing suit, so you don't need a whole lot of clothes. If you're going RVing, you'll have more than I will have. I can only take what's going to fit in a backpack or you know a roll-on, carry-on bag. And literally, I'm only going to have one carry-on for myself. And each one of us is only going to have one carry-on. Rick will have his camera bag as a personal bag. I'll have my purse. Willow will have um, 
the roll-on for her books, and then that carry-on. Oh, you know, I didn't show you that bag yet. Uh, her stuff's already in it, but I'll have to do an unboxing because I'm getting another one for Noah. I would love to get this particular backpack that I'm going to show you in a future video, but I can't carry anything on my back, so I'm not going to get it. But Noah wants one, just like Willow's, because it's pretty nice. So Cheryl, as far as clothes, I don't have any. <laughs> I am a little worried about the colder climates. I don't plan on going where it's snowing, so, but I'm gonna need a pair of jeans, a pair of like dress pants. Once I get my backpack ready, I'll do a video just for you folks who are interested in what I'm carrying in my carry-on, but it won't be much. You know, I have this shirt I wear all the time. It's uh, one of the microfiber shirts that you don't sweat in. I don't really sweat, but it gets really, really hot here in Florida. But I'll be traveling in colder climates, but I still get hot sometimes. And I like to wear a cardigan or a sweat jacket on top. I like layers. I like to take the top layers off if I get hot or add layers if I get cold. So this would be like my base shirt, something like this. And I'm into black blues. I wear dark colors mainly because I'm a messy person. If I eat, it gets on me. I somehow get stuff on me <laughs> wherever I go. So I keep to the dark colors. I love the lighter colors. I do love white. Our car's white, but I don't wear it. It's not uh, something that I should be wearing. I'll definitely dirty it in two seconds. Not that this shirt doesn't get dirty, it's just you can't see it when it does. So yeah, a pair of jeans, a pair of dress pants, a pair of nicer shoes, and probably tennis shoes, something to do our hikes, walks in. And then probably a hat, because I get cold easily. I like to keep my head warm or I get headaches. Uh, I'm gonna have to look for some thin gloves, those stretchy ones. I wear extra large size men's gloves because I have huge hands. I'm five foot eight. It's not really tall, but my hands are large and my feet are size 10. So sometimes it's hard to find things that fit properly. When the time comes, I'll make a video on what's in our bags and what doesn't fit in our bags just won't go. And if I really need something along the way, I'll just buy it. I'm not going to Mars or Pluto or the moon. <laughs> Wherever I go, I'm sure there'll be what I need or something close enough. So I'll survive. I'm seeing lizards running across our patio. If you haven't been to Florida yet, lizards are everywhere and frogs in the summer. But I don't mind them. I actually like them. Let's see if I can turn the camera around and show you. We actually brought our plants from the house. Keeping them as long as we can, I'll end up giving them to my brother. This is a pineapple that we planted. For those of you who remember that video when we planted, I think it was less than a year ago, I'll have to check. But it's growing. How cool is that? And I think the lizard is hiding. But that's our parsley. We use it for cooking. Rosemary. Willow likes to cook. I'm not sure what that is. Chives, and I'm not sure what that is. Oh, there's the little lizard. That's a baby one, but we got others. Whoa, let's drop my camera. There is a lizard hiding, isn't it cute? Yeah, that's like a perfect picture. Awesome place to live. Look at those storm clouds. It's gonna rain. It really thundered hard last night, but it didn't rain here. What my old neighbor said, it rained really hard where she lived. Look at this view. Who can't be happy here? This is what I see every night at the location we are. Those clouds are coming in. You see that out there? Those are some serious storm clouds. Picture perfect. So I'm gonna miss Florida while we're traveling to the rest of this world. I'm really excited about seeing the rest of the world, but this I'm gonna miss. It's hard to beat. This is like wonderful. That's why I wish I did live a little closer these last six years, closer to the uh, Gulf of Mexico, the first year, eight months, we lived at the apartment in Sarasota, which was 10 minutes away from Siesta Key. 
But this house is like a few houses away from this beach. So <laughs> I'm pretty happy and we'll be here for about a month. And then after that, we'll see where we go. As always, we appreciate you being with us and enjoying this journey with us. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please share, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to live a passionate life.